Robert H. Treeman State Park is home to some of the Finger Lakes region's most interesting geology, which is responsible for the remarkable scenery here. Let's take a look at some of the stories that this landscape has to tell us. Enfield Creek is the main stream that runs through Robert H. Treeman State Park. Enfield Creek's valley is rugged and charming. There are waterfalls, high cliffs, and even lush forests. This beautiful little canyon is known as Enfield Glen. The creek begins its journey in the hills to the west of the park and flows east through Enfield Glen to the Cayuga Valley south of Cayuga Lake, as it has since the Ice Age more than 10,000 years ago. During the Ice Age, huge mountain range sized sheets of ice plowed south from Canada covering most of New York State. The passing ice, perhaps as much as a mile deep, shaped the Finger Lakes region, leaving behind long grooved valleys with lakes in them, including Cayuga Lake. Since glacial times, streams have eroded gorges in the steep sides of the Cayuga Valley, including Enfield Glen. Geologically speaking, Enfield Creek runs through the roots of two gorges. One much older with forested flanks. The other a newer passage through bedrock. The older gorge was created by a stream during a pause in the Ice Age and was filled in with glacial earth by the most recent passage of the glacier more than 10,000 years ago. Since then, Enfield Creek has re-excavated much of the root of this older, wider, and deeper gorge. In the upper park, Enfield Creek has taken a detour from the root of the old buried gorge and is cut through solid rock since the most recent visit by the glaciers, producing the most spectacular section of the glen. The rock exposed in the cliffs of Enfield Glen is nearly 400 million years old and is mostly shale and siltstone derived from clay and silt deposited in an ancient sea that covered much of New York State. Soft shale and the more resistant siltstone occur in alternating layers. The rock layers are cut by enormous vertical cracks called joints by geologists. The joints resulted from enormous pressures exerted on the region hundreds of millions of years ago when the Appalachian Mountains formed to the south in Pennsylvania. Two sets of joints meet at nearly right angles in Enfield Glen, and they control the shape and direction of the erosion of the gorge. Because the joint pattern in Enfield Glen is so rectangular, many visitors suspect that people quarried out this gorge. Geologists even call the phenomenon architectural jointing, though it is entirely natural. Where joints cross the gorge, waterfalls often form on siltstone ledges. The two kinds of gorges at Enfield Glen, the rectangular jointing pattern and 115 feet high Lucifer Falls, give Enfield Glen its unique and remarkable scenic character. To experience these wonders for yourself, take a leisurely stroll along the gorge trail in the upper park. A park naturalist can help you further unfold the geological stories of Enfield Glen. Look for posters throughout the park that list times for gorge tours and other activities. <laughs>